this is a quick demonstration of the Wi-Fi mesh test solution from Candela Technologies. In this demo, we'll be showing you an example of a three node in-home mesh system emulating an average size two level American home with fixed Wi-Fi devices connected to various nodes in the mesh running traffic from each station and mobile devices moving around in the home and handing off between nodes. All the testing is done in a completely isolated and controlled test environment using LandForge station emulators to emulate the Wi-Fi stations, LandForge traffic generation to generate the various traffic streams, programmable attenuators to control the distance between the mesh nodes and also the motion of the mobile stations between the nodes, and a bunch of RF cables and splitters to create controlled access and backhaul connections. The mesh APs and the land force systems are placed in individual isolation chambers representing the various rooms in the home. All components of the test bed are controlled from a single fully integrated and easy to use user interface. Here is a picture of the three node mesh test bed. The living room chamber has the main router and a land force system that creates multiple fixed stations connecting to the living room router and the home office and the master bed chambers have the other two nodes with the LandForge station emulator in each of those chambers. The mobile station chamber contains a fourth LandForge system that can create multiple mobile stations that can travel in the entire house in a user-defined path, run traffic, and make measurements. The back of the RF chambers show all the RF cabling and the programmable attenuator modules that can programmatically simulate distance. There are a separate set of connections for access and backhaul. The system under test in this case is a tri-band 11AC 2x2 MIMO system with a router and two satellite nodes. Each of the nodes have two set of internal antennas. The first antenna set is for a dual band 2x2 MIMO 11AC radio, and we are using it for the backhaul network the second set of antennas go to a 5 GHz only radio, which is used for the access network by forcing the clients to connect to channel 48 on which this radio is programmed. Based on the system under test, this setup may vary a lot as every mesh system is different. Here is a more detailed wiring diagram of the test bed that shows each spatial stream of the access connections and the backhaul connections all connected using individual programmable attenuator units. All connections are made all the way to the internal antennas of the test units to avoid high over-the-air loss in the testing and to create the most repeatable test environment. In the interest of time, I'm skipping the details, but we'll be happy to provide a lot more detail for anyone interested if you contact us. Now let us look at the graphical user interface for a live demo. The cool part of this GUI is that it not only controls all the components of the test bed seamlessly, it also provides a really nice visualization of the various components of the test bed and what's happening in the test in real time. So if you look at this particular example here, we have created a living room chamber, an office chamber, a bedroom chamber, and a mobile station chamber, four different chambers in this user interface. And you can create a chamber by just right click on this, clicking on this UI and creating a new chamber and providing all these all this inputs. Once you create a new chamber, uh, you can add a, a device in a test, uh, like a root AP or a node one or a node two, and you can also add LandForge units to these devices uh, to these chambers. So what we have done here is for the living room chamber, we added the root AP and a LandForge unit that is going to create fixed stations connecting to the root AP. In the office chamber, we added the node one of the mesh and another LandForge unit that creates another set of fixed clients. And we did the same thing for the upstairs bedroom where we have the node two of, uh, of the system under test and then and a LandForge unit that's creating fixed stations. The fourth chamber has a fourth LandForge unit that is only creating mobile stations that can move between these three nodes in the mesh. So once we create all these chambers, we can also create the RF connections between the chambers. In this case, it's a two by two MIMO setup. So each connection will have two sets of RF cables with individual programmable attenuators. So if you right click on any one of the chambers, you can see how these connections are created from one chamber to the other chamber and mapped 
to an external attenuator uh, attenuator module that can be programmatically controlled. So once all the mappings are done, you can see the specific uh, attenuation values uh, and, and the attenuators that are mapped to each one of these links. And these links uh, connect the mobile station to each individual uh, AP. And then for the backhaul network, uh, these three APs are connected to each other for the backhaul. So if you want to control the backhaul network and the distance between the backhaul nodes, all we have to really do is we have to drag these chambers and there is an algorithm built into the system which maps this dragging motion or a distance to a certain attenuation value. And by bringing these APs closer, closer or far away from each other, you can actually increase or decrease the distance between these particular uh, nodes. Now, when we create a scenario, uh, what we are really doing here is we, we click on this button and we create a scenario where we are doing five stations, mobile stations on the mobile LAN forge, uh, it's programmed to the five gigahertz band, connected initially to the root AP, doing about six megabits per second bidirectional TCP. And then we have five stations each on each one of the LAN forges that are connected to each one of these APs as fixed stations. Uh, again, they're all connected on the same 5 gigahertz band and they are doing bi-directional UDP 6 megabit per second. Now the system will allow you to configure any number of stations and any number of traffic profiles or any amount of traffic uh, based on the limitations of the Landforge system that you, that you use. And you can load up the mesh network with lots of traffic and lots of uh, stations. So once we run the test, what happens is all these stations that we have configured they're all going to start. You can see that these stations are coming up. They're doing DHCP and getting their IP addresses. And, and the green bars here indicate the stations connected to the respective access points. And the dotted lines on either side of the green bars indicate the upstream and downstream traffic between those nodes. So you can see that currently uh, the mobile Landforge unit units are connected to the living room AP and they're get a, getting a minus 39 to 40 dB of signal from that particular access point. So the signal strengths here show the signal strengths that uh, the, the respective stations are seeing from the APs that they're currently connected to. So now if you want to move the mobile stations in the test, all you have to do is drag uh, uh, this particular box and you can see that the signal uh, strength is dropping from the station to these, uh, to these APs. Now it's at minus 42 dB. And if you drag it further, it goes to minus 50, minus 58, and so on. And at some point, the mobile stations will have very less signal from the uh, root AP, and they will hand off. And you can see the handoff has happened. And now you see a new green bar from uh, the mobile stations. They are connected to the node two in the network. And once they're connected back here, you can see the traffic is, uh, is flowing. And the traffic stats here show in real time how much traffic is being sent and received uh, from each one of these stations to the to the network. Now you can drag it any, any way you want and you can see how the, the signal will change and how the mobile stations might potentially move uh, from one node to the other node. And also you can look at how much uh, variation of throughput that is, that is creating. Now this is a, a very manual uh, test configuration. Uh, there is certain level, some level of automation that is set in the GUI. So for example, uh, you can right click on this mobile station and create a new path and you can drag the mobile station around and uh, along a certain path uh, that you want uh, this particular mobile station to, to, to use within the test. And once you create the path, you can set the, uh, the, the, the speed of the coordinates and then, uh, and, 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 and then play that particular path and the mobile station will move across the path, uh, run the test, make measurements at each point and save all of that information. We're also working on creating uh, a more, uh, uh, more reporting and more results gathering uh, and, uh, and also more automated tests that would test various things on the mesh like uh, uh, mo mobility, how long it takes the devices to roam, throughput and various levels in the mesh node, uh, the best path in the mesh network, uh, failover scenarios, and so on. So as we build more mesh tests, we are happy to work closely with any customer interested 
and we can make sure we add the features you need for your testing. Our mesh test system is currently in a beta form as of the end of February 2019, but is stable enough for us to do demonstrations to anyone interested. We expect to have a release by the end of Q1 2019. A three node mesh test system price ranges from $50,000 to about $100,000 based on the configuration of the Landforge units and it comes with all the testbed components, software and warranty. We can also provide optional on-site setup support for customers interested in purchasing the system. For customers who only have occasional test needs and don't need a system in-house, we offer test as a service where customers can ship their system and one of our engineers can run various tests for a week and send you a report. Please email or call us if you would like to see a more detailed demonstration and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have and also would love to hear from you about how we can make this system better fit your testing needs. More information about the Landforge system capabilities is available at candelatech.com. Thank you.